Bank of America top news. Their new CEO, as expected, is an insider. Brian Moynihan, the company's head of consumer banking, will succeed Ken Lewis on December the 31st. Well, I'm embarrassed for the board. This is a disgraceful uh, example of corporate governance. They got caught off guard by the fact that Ken Lewis announces his retirement uh, a few months ago. Then they spend 11 weeks searching outside for a candidate because they know they don't have anybody inside to select. Now, Moynihan, as you just heard, hasn't gotten rave reviews from some critical analysts and influential hedge fund investors. The criticism there is that he's 50 years old, he's relatively young. Some say, oh, that means he doesn't have enough experience or gravitas to run a bank, a Bank of America's sides. Well, however, the question now is how do shareholders react to this news? We're bringing one influential one on this program right now whose family controls more than one million shares of B of A. Earlier this year, he did organize a shareholder campaign seeking Ken Lewis's ouster as board chairman. Uh, he joins me now live. This is John Finger, managing partner at Finger Interests. He's with us now live from Houston. Uh, you've been vocal, sir, about uh, your criticism of Ken Lewis, the existing CEO. Now that we see some new blood in there, yes, from within the company, but a new CEO, are you ready to circle the wagons and support Brian Moynihan? No, obviously, you know, we campaign very vigorously for the board to bring in an outsider, and this to us is a very disappointing decision. Our, our campaign was to change the corporate governance at the company toward a focus on building shareholder value and enhancing transparency. And we think Brian uh, is not really a change agent. He is very closely tied to Ken Lewis and the past regime. So, uh, no, we don't think this is a good decision at all. Yet in the past, you did say that you would support Tom Montag, one insider at B of A potentially, or versus some of the other names that have been floated. So you weren't completely opposed to an insider taking the helm. You know, we said if you had to pick an insider, you know, I think Montag is probably the most qualified guy uh, that I've heard discussed internally. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it uh, that makes you react so strongly here to think that you do need an outsider, that perhaps, as you're suggesting, uh, this isn't the right leadership right now? Well, take a look at what this management team has done in the past year. They have destroyed a significant amount of shareholder value. Uh, they have diluted shareholders. Uh, shares outstanding have gone from $4 billion to $10 billion outstanding. The company is being investigated by the SEC, the New York Attorney General, several state attorney generals. Brian Moynihan was a senior executive who was involved in many of these major decisions surrounding the Merrill Lynch deal. And so I question how the board is even confident that he's not going to get dragged into these investigations. But some uh, so, could argue, though, that there's value in having someone who has been there through the troubles, who knows, quote unquote, where the bodies are buried, what the internal politics have been, that there is value in that. You know, we don't agree. Brian has got a total of about six and a half years of experience running business units. You know, I think a lot of the people that report to him are going to have more experience in their respective, respective lines of business than he does. And so I think that raises question about his uh, credibility, about his leadership capabilities, and really about his overall business experience. I think they could have found other candidates much better qualified. Now, we have heard that there has been a fair amount of dissension within the, the ranks of the board, sure. Um, but take us, if you could, inside whatever insight you have into those rooms, into those conversations about why Moynihan would be the right choice, and also, is there the potential to see a breakup of B of A here? You know, I, I can only look from the outside. I've got to think that there was dissension at the board level. I think that's part of the reason that there was no succession plan in place. I think that's part of the reason we went 11 weeks uh, and then turned around, turned around and got an insider as opposed to someone from outside the company. Mm -hmm. So I think there are factions on the board that want to uh, maintain their control rather than do what's best for shareholders. You know, okay. in terms of a breakup of the company, I don't expect this board to take that action. All right, thank um, you. I think uh, that would be an... I'm sorry to, get, to cut you off there, John. Okay. Thank you so much for giving us Thank your you. insight. That's John Finger, uh, shareholder there at Bank of America.